Yeah, but this person, they want to take some type of leap of leap of faith. They see you on this new journey. And um, they see you started a whole new career on this journey. As you took a leap of faith, you know, by yourself, you took a risk. Took a leap of faith towards the unknown. You know, stuff that people don't normally take a leap of faith towards. And um, they see you on this path, like a new path, and they want to go on that path. It's, you know, a journey, a whole nother journey than what you were on. It could be a whole nother belief system as well. Stuff that was hidden, high priestess that he didn't, this person didn't know or she didn't know. Yeah. Judgment is here. This person could be receiving karma as well. This could be somebody that wants to take a leap of faith towards you. And the reason why they haven't been around you is because they haven't been receiving karma. And you're in a state where you're moving forward. You know, you've took a leap of faith towards a new path. You're on a journey. And this person haven't come around you because they're experiencing karma. So you could be wondering why you haven't heard from this person. They can't come around you because they have karma. Could be bad karma. And um, it's like the way energy work, if you attach yourself to someone that's experiencing bad karma, that, you know, energy is projected off onto you. So it's like the way the universe work, ancestors work, They'll make it where that person cannot come towards you. They can't come around you. They won't be able to project that energy off onto you. Because they're receiving karma. They're being judged for whatever they had and did wrong. Yeah, and you're manifesting. A musician is here. You're someone that, you know, has control of your own future. You have the ability to manifest whatever it is you want out of life. So it's like you're creating, you're manifesting, and this person is going through judgment. And that's why this person, you know, have not been around you. And this could be somebody that you have love for. The lovers is here. Could be your, you know, twin. Person that shares the same soul as you. And, um... They see you on this journey, taking a leap of faith or took a leap of faith on another path, another belief system. And you're able to manifest. Yeah, you have the ability to manifest whatever it is you want out of life and you're manifesting, you know, love from different people. And this person is going through judgment. For different things that happened in the past, Six of Cups is here. So something that happened in the past with the Six of Cups could have had this person stuck in a hangman position. And um, they were wrapped up in a situation and they ended up getting some type of karma. They could be stuck in a situation, you know, from, as I said, something they did in the past. And that's why they couldn't contact you because that's not something that you're attached to. So it's like if you try to contact this person, they possibly wouldn't respond. They wouldn't come towards you because this person is experiencing karma. You're on a whole nother journey. You're on a whole nother path than this person. Yeah, Queen of Swords is here. That's the truth. You're someone that's very smart. You speak the truth. And very wise, you know, a very intelligent individual. Yeah. Yeah. You can read energy and you cut out things that no longer serve purpose. So it's like if this person is attached to stuff that you don't agree with, it's like you're already in this Queen of Swords energy. They could have gotten wrapped up in something with somebody that was um, very cold. It could be a divorce with this Queen of Swords as well. And that's why this person have not come towards you. They're experiencing some type of karma going through a divorce. Yeah, Queen of Swords could be, you know, like separating from someone. And um, yeah, the chariot is here. You move forward. Be, you move forward after gaining truth and clarity about that person in the past. That's why you were, you know, on the chariot. 
Because that would have weighed you down, Ten of Wands. That would have weighed you down and had you, you know, feeling pressured and burdened. That's someone else's weight. And that's why this person haven't came towards you. Either they were cutting someone off, either they were getting a divorce, or they were separating from someone. And it's like that baggage would have weighed you down. That's why you were on that chariot moving forward after gaining truth and clarity. Yeah, it would have been too much conflict and chaos, drama, five of wands, secretly one-upping. Just too much. And this person possibly was already in that energy with you because they were feeling pressured and weighed down because this person was cutting them off. And they possibly secretly were trying to take it out on you, five of wands. They could have did something to try to have you in this hangman position in the past. And it's like right after that, they were in divorce court. Or they were in some type of situation where they were stuck and going to court. And they were going through conflict and stuff, you know, like that as well. Yeah, towers here. It's like they wanted you to go through a tower moment and they were going through tower moments behind the scenes. Each time they wanted you to go through stuff, they were going through it. Each time they secretly tried to compete with you or copy you or secretly send conflict to you, they were going through these tower moments. Um, they were sit back. <laughs> they would sit back at the two of swords as if they didn't know what was going on, as if they were blinded from the truth. But it was whatever they were trying to secretly do to you at the five. Well, it just came right back. Tower. Whatever they were secretly trying to do to this person, it just came right back. Whoever your divine counterpart is. Yeah, you're someone that holds back from people. You don't trust people for pinnacles. And then the, the star card is here. You're someone that's healed. You're stingy with time, money, and energy. So this person couldn't get in your energy. It's like immediately as people try to do stuff to you, it go back to them. And it have them feeling weighed down. So it, they may try to form it against you, but it shall not prosper. And, um... Because you're always someone that's in this four of pentacles energy. You're always someone that's, you know, balancing out your energy. You, you are someone that's healed with the star card. <laughs> yeah, three of wands is here. You're someone that know what you want out of life. You made a final decision. And um, you're no longer, you know, unable to make a... You're no longer standing at a two of wands. The two of wands is in the reverse. So it's like you never was at a two of wands. You were always on the chariot just moving forward. And that could have caused tower moments for certain people. It's like the more and more they wanted you to go through stuff. All because they were secretly like competing with you or copying you for reasons that you don't even know. They will go through tower moments. Yeah, Ace of Cups is here. It's because you take care of yourself and you love yourself. That's the reason why people were at the five of ones. You would think, you would, you know, least expect that. But it's because of the way you take care of yourself, the way you carry yourself, Ace of Cups. People were, you know, at the five of ones with that. They were sitting back, uh, you know, wanting to send conflict, secretly copying you. You know, wanting to be you, however you take care of yourself or care of yourself, and you may not even think it's much, you know, you just go at your own pace, you're not paying attention to certain stuff, you know, this is like an everyday thing for you, but other people would be intimidated by that and you didn't know that, and they would secretly do different stuff to send conflict to you because they just couldn't be you. Yeah, all because of how you take care of yourself and you carry yourself, the energy that you walk in. Yeah, the hermit is here. You're someone that don't like to be around people. These are possibly people that um, have to be around people. They have to be around people to get attention. They have to be the center of attention and, you know, try to down someone else to be that center of attention. You don't have to be that. You don't even be around people. It's like you're in hermit mode, someone that's very wise. It's like when you're by your, you, you can throw a party by yourself. You're someone that's happy when you're by yourself. You don't you don't sit back and get depressed or stressed out and cuz you've been in a situation where you've been around a lot of different people and it was just draining. So you've went through lessons and you moved on to your blessings. The older you get, the more you know. 
when you know better, you do better. So it's like you you're on a whole nother this part whoever this person was that was at the five of ones, they're nothing like you. And it's like they're beating their self up trying to be you. And it just won't happen. It's not gonna happen. It's like they're tearing their self down to try to be something that they're not instead of just being their self. And that you're not the first person they did this uh, to. This person have always been in this type of energy at the five of ones, competing with different people, how they look, how they dress, how they talk. This person can't be their self. They're lost. Yeah, six of wands is here. That's why you were divinely guided to sell away from um, whoever this person is that was attached to this person. And because um, they were possibly still attached to that person, even if they weren't attached to that person. They were attached to other people that was like that person. And then that person was still lurking around in their energy and they didn't know because they didn't know how energy worked. Whoever your person is. Yeah, temperance is here. Your, your ancestors were divinely, was divinely guiding you to sail away so you can keep yourself grounded, keep yourself balanced out. And balance, you know, out masculine and feminine energy. And that's what you, you know, you're on this temper scar. Someone that's very angelic. You have angels and ancestors all around you pouring out love and protection. Yeah. Four of Swords is here. Ten of Cups in the reverse. So it's like somebody is not happy that a situation, uh, you know, was laid to rest for swords. They don't like that. So you could have laid a situation to rest with a person. This is overall like a lot of different energies. This could be people that you were attached to. This person that's your divine counterpart. Different people that they were attached to. It's just all in, you know. A lot of stuff that was hidden. The High Priestess card is the first one that popped out. Um, yeah, Ten of Cups in the reverse. That's just like, you know, somebody that's unhappy. Could be multiple people unhappy because a situation is being laid to rest. Four of Swords is here. Could have been a situation that they started. Um, they wanted to keep it hidden. High Priestess is here. And they're not happy that that situation is at the Four of Swords being laid to rest. Yeah, the hair fine, Eight of Wands. So it's like God came in quick and balanced that situation out a long time ago, and that was hidden. Eight of Swords. Somebody ended up getting stuck in some type of way. Like somebody could have went to jail physically with this Eight of Swords. And um, or they're on their way to jail. You know, because this Eight of Swords is like a self, self-made prison. You're you're in spiritual jail and you don't know this. And that's why you're always in your head about stuff. You don't know what's possibly going on in the spiritual realm because you're in this physical realm. And people don't, you know, too too many people don't believe in spirituality they don't believe in it you know people just walk around thinking that you know they have a soul but their souls are lost and needs a lot of work done on them and people are not spiritually woke some people get woke and some people don't some people believe in spirituality and some people don't you know everybody have different belief system and you can't not judge people for what they believe in but um this person is someone that's possibly, you know, getting ready to go to physical jail for something. And God stepped in, eight of wands, and the hair fine is here. Queen of Pentacles? This could be somebody that was just, um, this could be a mother. Could be a wife, could be a mother. Could be someone that owns a business. They could have did something and um, thought that that was hidden, but they're getting ready to go to jail. Eight of Swords is here. Queen of Pentacles. 
Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. See, this was something that was destined to happen. The Wheel of Fortune. So, um, whatever took place, it was supposed to happen. So, it was like, you could have gotten caught up in a situation or was placed in a situation that was not true, but it was supposed to happen because whoever got behind the scenes and did what they did, they came in your energy field for a reason. So they could get karma. You would experience your good karma after, you know, being vindicated for whatever they lied on you about. That will be laid to rest. And then they're stuck at the eight of swords for whatever they did to you. That's just how God works, equal give and take. So it's like you're experiencing good karma and they're experiencing bad karma. It's all judgment, good or bad. Nine of Cups is here. Yeah, this Nine of Cups, this person could be somebody that just sit back and get drunk a lot. Um, they don't think. This person lived their life every day, you know, getting drunk. This also could be someone that's married. Um, this person is someone that, you know, they thought that if they had you stuck in a situation, I'm hearing that they would become a queen of pentacles or get married to somebody or get a whole bunch of money. This is possibly somebody that don't work, but this were what they, you know, did to get their self at this eight of swords, thinking that they would get a whole bunch of money. As they were sitting back at the nine of cups, arms folded and feet kicked up, wish fulfillment. And um, they were over and indulging in toxicity, different toxic patterns, getting high, getting drunk. And, you know, just living life without a care, thinking that they can do anything to people. This person is caught up some type of way at the Eight of Swords. And they're possibly getting ready to go to physical jail. Yeah, the world is here. It's a cycle that needed to be completed. This person didn't want it to end, though. They didn't want it, whatever cycle to be completed. So they did something to try to have you in a hangman position or possibly this person or both. And now they're caught up at the Eight of Swords, binding and blind to the devil for death that's owed. For whatever they did wrong, but they wanted to keep it hidden. Yeah, they're not happy that a situation is being laid to rest. So it's like they did everything so it wouldn't be laid to rest. And they got caught up at the Eight of Swords because they did it. You know, they, they did it in a sneaky, deceptive way where they wanted to stay hidden. High Priestess is here. So there was a lot of stuff that was hidden that you possibly didn't know, but it was a lot of stuff hidden that that person didn't know. Yeah, justice in the reverse. And it's like, this person is not, you know, this person like intentionally did this. Situation is not going to be weighed out for them for whatever they did. You don't even know what they did. This person could have did some stuff in the past and you don't even know. Because this is possibly somebody that you don't even know that did this to you. That's why the high priestess is here. It's hidden. And um, they did this in the past. And you don't even know this person. So it's like whatever situation, God stepped in and, you know, balanced the situation out for you. But just as in the reverse, no one is stepping in and balancing the situation out for them. Yeah, Seven of Cups is here. They're at the Seven of Cups confused. They thought they had a lot of people confused, I'm hearing. Or something like that. Yeah, they thought they had people confused. Yeah, Eight of Cups in the reverse. And it's like, as they thought they had people confused, they were the only one confused. Eight of Cups in the reverse. They're no longer, you know, not able to walk away from this confused mindset. Whatever confusion they wanted other people to be in, they can't even walk away from that confusion. It's like whatever you do come immediately back to you and people don't get that. Yeah, Knight of Wands is here. They're used to being in this Knight of Wands energy where they just come in quick and do stuff without thinking. And they don't expect to get karma because they're so used to doing it. But they will at least expect how God works. It's not going to come right back how, you know, you will expect it. 
is going to come when you least expect it because you do stuff to people or this person do stuff to people that will least expect it. They always have it hidden. These are people that, you know, are cowards. They, you know, do stuff out of hate and jealousy. So they'll just see you look a certain way or have something and they get mad. And they want that too. They don't know how you, what you did, you know, worked hard to get where you at. They don't care about that. This is someone that don't want to work. They just want stuff handed to them. As I see this Queen of Pentacles card, it's like somebody that just wants somebody to give to them. I'm not reading it how, you know, I go off of the energy that comes to me. So I'm not reading it as if it's, you know, this is someone that works hard. This is a mother. This is a wife. No. The Eight of Swords and this Queen of Pentacles is like this person got their self stuck because they wanted to have a whole bunch of money. They thought they would get some type of, you know, fortune. Eight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and then the Wheel of Fortune is here. So they could have thought that they would walk into your Wheel of Fortune if they had your divine counterparts stuck in some type of situation. Or if they had you stuck in some type of situation, then they would get to your Wheel of Fortune. You're already sitting in your Wheel of Fortune. You're already sitting in this Empress energy. Not standing at a two of wands. You know, two of wands is in the reverse. You're manifesting whatever you want out of life. So it's like this person couldn't do anything to have you stuck. They're stuck. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles is here. It's like they're stuck and whoever was working with them, you know, wasting their time is stuck. You chose to work on yourself, work on your business, and mind your business. This person on the Eight of Pentacles is someone that's by their self. You didn't need any help. Whoever this person is, they had a lot of people working with them to try to have you stuck or this person stuck. And they were just racking these people up to receive karma with them. Yeah, equal give and take, Six of Pentacles. Whatever you do, come back on you tenfold, good or bad. So whatever they did with that person... They're getting that back too. Yeah, the moon card is here. They possibly thought it was going to stay hidden. High Priestess was the first one that popped out, but they were sitting back, you know, playing with spell work with, the, you know, this person. And it's like, not only is a spell work, whatever they were trying to do in the spiritual realm coming back on them, stuff that happened in this physical realm, that's coming back as well. It possibly, you know, they have not possibly even received their karma yet. They're getting it little by little. Yeah, Three of Swords is here. It's like they're not even going to be able to, whatever they threw at you, it kept you moving forward. But whatever they're getting ready to experience, they're at the Three of Swords. Depression, heartbreaks, heartaches. And it's like they're not even going to be able to deal with it how, because they cannot stand up in nobody else's energy. You've healed, you've did the work. You were able to keep moving forward because you were healing. These people didn't sit back and heal. They chose to sit back and try to have you stuck or this person stuck that was your divine counterpart. They wanted y'all to be depressed. So it's like whatever they secretly did, it just came back on them. They're sitting back depressed. And they got to keep it hidden because they don't want people to know. So they'll try to hide it with drugs or alcohol or different type of obsessions that they have. And they're still, you know, in this three of swords, depressed, heartbroken. Yeah, Knight of Cups is here. And then a Death card is here. So this Knight of Cups and the Death card is like, whoever this person, you know, whatever they this person did, riled up a lot of people to get to try to get this person's attention or some type of, you know, or get a whole bunch of money or they promised these people money. You know, they kind of just lied to this, these people and they didn't know that was hidden. They would just be receiving karma and heartache. But they thought this person would come in at the Knight of Cups and show love to them, express the way they feel to them. That was put to an end. The death card is here. They wanted to put it to an end for this person coming to connect with you. They wanted that to be, you know, brought to an end. But you weren't even worried about that. You were too focused on, you know, moving forward, manifesting, being creative, working on your business or working on yourself. This this is somebody that, you know, they're a knight of wands energy. So they want someone to 
give them attention for a little while and then they're you know on to the next person getting attention from them this is just how this person you know worked but if they no longer got attention from certain people then that will you know have them mad they could have thought you would have got mad because this person wasn't giving you no attention but you're not a person that's an attention seeker you can give yourself attention as the ace of cups popped out you take care of yourself you carry yourself well and you love yourself. This is someone who don't love their self. They need, you know, people to show them some type of affection to feel loved. And they don't even love their self. Yeah, four of cups is here. They're insecure. And they thought they were projected off onto you. Having you feeling insecure wanting you to be rejected because they could have gotten rejected by this person. That's your divine counterpart. Even if they were still attached to this person, it's like this person was cold when they were around him and didn't really want anything to do with them. And they felt that. And they were secretly, you know, taking it out on you because they knew this person wanted to connect with you. But they knew that you guys were um, divine counterparts. So this Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse. They could be sitting back realizing that they were never able to get to this Ten of Pentacles. Four of Cups and Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. They had a big misunderstanding. They didn't do their research. But it's like now after the, the aftermath of all the karma they racked up, now they're realizing they can't get to this person's Ten of Pentacles or generational wealth. Or even connect with this person's ancestor to get gifts to create a generational wealth. They're realizing that. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles is here. It's like they thought that they were going to get this person to invest in them. This person was going to have these gifts and this and that. This person is being rejected from their Ten of Pentacles until they, you know, get their karma, get away from certain people that um, do not serve purpose in their life. Your divine counterpart. As you were blocked off from your Ten of Pentacles as well. You know, before you got healed, before you got woke. Because certain people that you were attached to, they're not attached to this Ten of Pentacles. And that's why you were rejected to get to that Ten of Pentacles. That's the same thing that's going on with your person. They're being rejected from getting to their Ten of Pentacles until they get away from people that, that's not a part of their Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this person thought that they would get, you know, your person to invest in them. Or your divine counterpart. Because some people, you know, they don't look at their divine counterpart as their person. So this is your divine counterpart that um, is going through this. And whoever that they were attached to. Yeah, King of Pentacles. This is somebody that could have been in a marriage with a person. And um, they looked at this person as somebody that can invest in them. They seen him in this King of Pentacles. Somebody that works hard. Somebody that was stable. And they thought that they were going to get to this Ten of Pentacles, but they were rejected. It's like your person ended up whatever finances they had, that was snatched from them. Because as I, you know, have been saying, a lot of people, you don't know in this physical realm who's plotting against you. Um, but your ancestors know, God know that somebody is trying to use you. So what they'll do is snatch everything from you where you're not able to have anything until you detach from that person. Because they know that this person is trying to secretly do stuff to you, but you don't know. You could be sitting next to a person, cool with a person all day in this physical realm, and y'all battling in the spiritual realm. Y'all souls are at war. Spiritual warfare. Yeah, four of wands is here. Yeah, as I was saying, you know, this is somebody that they were in a relationship with. They could have been in a relationship with this person for a long time. I'm pretty sure you have been in relationships for a long time. And once you got out of that relationship, you were able to manifest more. You were able to focus more. And move forward, you know, in life. And that's the stage that this person is in. You know, they're learning different stuff and just so happy they have to go through karma and have different stuff snatched from them. Because they don't know or get that the people that are around them or this person, they had different pe other people working with them doing stuff to this person, thinking that they would get a whole bunch of money. And it's like this person possibly didn't know the whole plot. It was a lot of stuff that was hidden to them. 
Because they, you know, have been with this person and they wouldn't think that they would go that far. But, you know, this is what took place behind the scenes. And um, some stuff that God know, your ancestors know, you don't know. And they'll, you know, teach you lessons until you get woke. Yeah, they'll take everything and have you at the two of pentacles, juggling between thoughts and finance, trying to figure this out until you get away from these energies. That's secretly, you know, doing stuff to use you. Sit back with the arm folded and feet kicked up. It's called lessons. People will say, y'all, oh, they took an L and they just keep running in cycles around the same people and constantly taking L's and going through the same thing over and over again. And it's like, you know... They have to be stripped from everything so they could get woke. Yeah, King of Cups is here. So they could, you know, use their intuition, King of Cups. Being more, being more open to express the way they feel to people. Not just come in, hey, King of Cups, heart chakra, open up for you, but to everybody that they're around, be emotionally mature. Be able to emotionally have a conversation, you know, with people that they don't agree with. Hey, I don't agree with that. You know, if they can stand up and be emotionally mature, this is so this person could balance their energy out throughout life. So they can be, you know, king of swords, speaking the truth, cutting out things that no longer serve purpose in their life. Yeah, six of, six of wands is here. So they can, you know, have victory and come out on top. Yeah, six of wands is here. This is someone that, you know, supposed to be successful. And it's like as they're around different people that are not, you know, going to do the work or don't plan on doing the work to go on their path. They're at this two of pentacles, juggling between thoughts and finance, trying to figure this out. And they're supposed to be at the six of wands having victory. Being somebody that's successful, famous, getting attention in a positive way and on their, you know, on their journey, their destiny, their purpose here on earth. But they had a lot of karma that they had to deal with, a lot of stuff they had to, you know, put to an end and experience a rebirth throughout life. Ace of Wands is here, yes. So this person can take action towards a new beginning, a new venture in life. <laughs> yeah so this person could be happy their ancestors want them to be happy yeah they want them to be happy they want this person to understand something it's like they go through all of these L's because they're learning lessons to move on to their blessings and it's like your person your you know divine counterpart their ancestors want them to be happy but they also want them to know hey you need to look at this you need to pay attention to this as secrets are being revealed. People are being exposed. Things are being illuminated around them. Things are coming to light. Stuff that they didn't know. Yeah, people was betraying them. Ten of swords. They were around people that were backstabbing them or a person that backstabbed them with multiple people that they had working with them. Yeah, this person is somebody that's obsessed. They were obsessed with this seven of swords energy, being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. Lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing, being dishonest, thinking that they were smarter than everybody and just using people for whatever they can get out of them, including the people they had working with them. They lied to them just to have them do what they say. <laughs> and they didn't, you know, they don't get that, that this person wanted to keep them binding and blinding to the devil, to their bad karmic debt. So they just riled up a whole bunch of people to stay under this curse and hex. Ten of swords is here. <laughs> 